the inept Supreme Court has found a way for all individuals to have the right to have a gun. It's a cause that's so necessary to assure our individual right to be free from violence and to pursue our basic rights to life, liberty, and happiness. No guns. What planet does the Supreme Court live on? I'm asking about the well-protected, policed, chauffeured justices who voted that individuals, all individuals have the right to carry guns. Do these justices read newspapers? It's doubtful. How could they know, <clears throat> not know the mayhem that they have wreaked in this world with such an outrageous ruling? They've opened the door to Murder Incorporated. It's an individual, a well is an individual, a well-regulated militia. Could the Founding Fathers possibly see, foresee a world where anyone is free to carry a gun in the public, at a public ra rally, target, targeted by hate and anger? Where is their heart? Why have Americans felt free to kill? Two members of my own family were murdered with guns, a niece and a nephew in the flower of their youth. We're living in an era when we send robots halfway around the world to kill people in their own country, and no one asks why. Let's never give up hope that we can control deadly guns in this country. We can expose the real intent of the NRA and gun sales. It's all called money. In an it's an individual, as I say, a well-regulated militia. How many tragedies must we have every day in, the, in our country in order to get back our senses, this mindless killing in the nation's capital alone? I am profoundly honored to be identified in the crusade with the Bradys and all of you against this easy access to guns. And the only hope that Americans will wake up someday, save lives, and make this a safer world for all of us. And I want to say that I think that Jim Brady was the best press secretary I ever knew. <laughs> Much as it hurt, he told the truth, and he told the truth at a price. He took the fall for the president of Reagan, and I never, never heard him complain. He took the fall for the country. Thank you. <laughs>